Well, good morning. How's everybody doing? Praise the Lord. Well, that one's dead. Well, it's good to see everybody here this morning. Welcome to Artists. You may be seated if you can. Welcome to Aren't You Can't Be Seated. It's, I guess I should have finished my sentence. I don't care. She does. Sister Gloria does. Mama does. I'm good. Ruby does. I'm good. Anyway, good morning, everybody. I know the weather's been crazy, but so are we. I had a what? I ain't got no hair. Oh, I tell you, Sister Gracie, it's just hard to be me. It is. Well, can you get a little less sleep and a little more praying? <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I mean, standing on the promises this morning. Amen. If we weren't standing on promises, we'd be falling, wouldn't we? This old world's enough to make anybody collapse. Yes. I mean, after all, look around. They're collapsing like crazy. So, I don't care. Calling me for dinner. No, you're fine. I, I was just I was just sitting here think going back. Delbert and I was talking I bless his heart. I've had to deal with him three or four nights this week. But uh and, and Tanya worked us like an old testament Hebrew slave moving couches yesterday. Oh I said Delbert I have stories to tell this morning. But anyway, uh, you know in essence, God told Moses, you got to go somewhere and die because you can't come in the promised land. Didn't mean he had cancer or a broke foot or a blood disease or something. He was, he, it, the Bible says his eye was just as bright. His strength was just as strong as, as a young man. You know, and... Uh, well, you outlived him by three years so far. So, I'm teasing with him. You know, and then there was uh, uh, Elisha. He was and he was not. That's not right. Enoch, thank you. And, and you know, and he walked and, and he, he was and then he was not. Elisha in the chariot of fire. And, and we look around like at this life that we got to be taken out by something. Thank you. Yes. Taken out in God's glory. Amen. We, uh, huh. Okay, Lauren. Do we answer to a name or do we answer to the name that's above every name Jesus. you know when we get sick well I guess I'm just going to die of this whatsoever you confess with your so either you serve the name or you're going to die by a name thank you I'm glad you caught that I'm glad you caught that 
But I want to tell you something. <laughs> Tanya was playing a song this morning on her phone from YouTube. Is he worthy? Cancer, sickness, those things are not worthy, but yet we serve them to the point of death. Well, I guess I'll just die of this cancer. I guess I'll just die of this. And I guess this is going to take me to the grave. I guess... Uh, I guess I'm just stubborn enough, Brother Johnny, that I'm just going to let Jesus take me out. Forget the sickness. Forget heart disease. I'm going to let the name take rank over a name. So when we come to worship, do we come to worship the name or just a name? Some of us know Jesus, but we only know of Him. We don't, therefore we don't worship Folks, I want to tell you something. You ever been forgiven of what I've been forgiven of and your, and your life changed like mine has, you will cut loose in worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm not worthy. Mm. <laughs> Old song said, I'm not worthy to call upon His name. But because the Father loved the creation so much. He sent His Son to die for you personally. Not a group. Not a denomination. That's a name, by the way. But for you personally. And we can't give him all the glory he deserves. Oh, there ain't no way we ever could. But folks, we could at least try. We could at least try. Instead of whining and crying over everything that goes wrong. Things go wrong for a reason. Other than we're just in this life. Well, that's a total, we'll go, that's a total different direction. But, we have something that's so much better than this life. He said, I gave you the blood that you may have life and more abundantly. Well, I'm not living an abundant life. That's your fault. Because it's there. Abundant life is there just as salvation is there. Healing just as abundance. Just as salvation. Everything we need is there. I just read it this morning in Luke. He said, I've given you everything that I gave Jesus. Because we have the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The scripture says, greater is he that is in me. Who is in us? Jesus. That almost makes me want to run. If I wasn't so wore out being a couch toter, I probably would. But because I was a couch toter, now I'm a couch tater. He's enjoyed that couch. <laughs> I seen you dozing off last night. But folks, God is so good. That song that we just heard, I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Yes. Guys, there's no other name. Hmm. 
There's no other name. There's no other name that can save us. No other name that can heal us, deliver us, change us. Mm. 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 No, not off the top of my head. Mm. Well, I agree. We think he's late, but even when he's four days late, he's still right on time. Glory! Glory! Boy, you don't let that thing out, it'll hurt you. You get one of them in you, Delbert, you better let it out. It'll hurt you. <laughs> Glory! Mm. Mm. I totally forgot every announcement I was supposed to make. You know what? I made the right announcement. I announced Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Mm. Holy Spirit is here. Amen. Woo! Amen. Mm. Woo! Ah! Mm. What are you searching for this morning? What are you looking for? What did you come to this place looking for? You came looking for something. What did you looking for? Thank you. Are you looking to release the chaos that's going on in your life? Are you looking for a firmer foundation? Are you looking for the man who healed? I know a man who can. Are you looking to be set free? What did you come? Because you didn't come just to come and set. You came to receive something. What did you come to receive? When they encountered Jesus, they didn't just encounter Him as a man. They came to Him for a specific purpose. What is your purpose? If he's here, and you say he is, which you just did, and he is here, why did you come to him this morning? Are you like the woman at the well? Are you the lame man at the gate? Are you the leopard that cried out, Master, Master, have mercy? But see, there's something that I noticed in every one of those that I mentioned. When Jesus walked by, they asked for something. And then when they got it, they practiced it. We have come to church week after week after week after week, begging God to do something, but yet we're still sitting. Thank you. My wife will appreciate you later. We're still asking for the same thing week after week after week after week. God has already delivered. The old song said, and it's scriptural, I tried to catch the lame man who was going to the dumb woman who told the lame man, And if you don't believe them, ask the blind man. He saw it all. (laughs) They all had to do something. Peter and John at the gate said, Silver and gold have I not, but such I have given by thee. Get up and walk. Get up and be healed. Get up and be filled. You have to put into practice that which God 
has given you. God gave you the gift of worship. Now rise up and worship this morning. Rise up and give Him the glory. Rise up and use the breath that is given to magnify the name above every name. Rise up, lift up your hands. You are no longer shackled down. But by the lifting up, we are surrendering to the King of kings and to the Lord of lords. God is not something that goes on on the inside without reflecting on the outside. Now, Father, this morning I speak to these chains, fall off. You are commanded to snap in half and fall off. In li- I'm hearing chains breaking. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the rattling of some things. Thank you, Jesus. you may not, well, I just don't feel a cotton picking thing. <laughs> Fine, don't feel it, but go get it. Amen. You don't feel like drinking water, but I see you toting them in the buildings. Hallelujah. Go get that which is yours. It's time the church went to get what the devil has stole and it's the church's fault he stole it the only way we can is through worship and praise when we worship and we begin to praise he said I inhabit the praises of my people and when his presence come in his presence break chains his presence sets free the spirits of man Mm. So as we sing this morning about the blood and the healing and the God that delivers and the God that healeth, take it to heart to what you are saying with your words. John said, though they worship me with their lips and yet their hearts are far from me. That's where the church is today. Well, what's for dinner? Who cares? If your spirit's not alive, you don't need to eat food. Because you're just a dead man walking. God has told us week after week after week after week after week, worship me, serve me, draw nigh to me, come close to me. I'm here, I'm here, come to me. And yet we are still sitting Asking for the same thing over and over and over and over. (laughs) Chase down the blind man. Because I promise you, he saw it all. He saw it all. And you can sit here all you want to say, my life's perfect. Lie to yourself and deceive yourself again. Because life ain't perfect. And the more of Jesus mm, is what we need. It is what we need. Our fellow men and women need Jesus in us. Some of you don't understand that. But you can't give what you ain't got. Father, we ask this morning that you forgive us of our shortcomings. If we haven't made it about you, Lord, we turn ourselves and make our worship about you. Make our service, not this church ours, but our service, our life given, what we do daily, our service to you, Lord. We surrender to you this morning. And Satan, <laughs> Holy Spirit's not leaving this place grieved this morning. I don't care how much weight you put on us. How much distraction. How much, well, this just ain't going to happen. You're right. It ain't, but it is to you. You ain't going to happen in this house. Because we belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. We have been bought with a price. And you can't touch us. You run your mouth, but you can't touch us. 
and we shut the mouths of the lions this morning. Holy Spirit, you take control right now. This spirit of heaviness, this spirit of unrelaxed, this spirit of tiredness, this spirit, whatever, this spirit that is trying to bind and hold down, we rebuke it, we bind it, and we cast it out in the name of Jesus. Satan, I slung you out of the rafters this morning. I told you to hit the road, Jack. I told you, nah, -uh. you have no power here. We don't need penicillin or any other kind of ceiling. All we need is Jesus on the floor. And we worship and we praise and we thank you, O oh God, for what you have brought us through. And we know that you will not stop carrying us through as problems arise. Lord, give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to address things. As they come up. For in these end times, you said perilous times have come. They're not coming, they're here. They have come. Because we are in the last days. And Father, persecution will come. But I ask and I, I, I profess right now that you give your people wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to stand in the face of the enemy, no matter what it may be, and the church will go forward, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Lord, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for the lamb that was slain. Lord, and we give you the glory and we give you the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 It's time to start claiming some bloodstains. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Yes, Jesus. Mm. Yes, Jesus. Mm. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Mm. I ain't never felt no doctor's office feel like this. <laughs> Woo! <Glory>. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Woo! Mmm! Mmm! It's atmosphere like this that they tore the roofs off in the Old Testament, bringing people in for healing. Mm. Because the crowd was so big they couldn't get in the house. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Woo! Mm. Mm. Blow the trumpet in Zion. <laughs> Woo. Mm. Well, glory. Mm. Ma, 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 ma. Mm. 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 <laughs> hey, 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 Ah. <laughs> 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 
Somebody from the outside comes in and says, I don't understand what's going on. We don't either. We just know the power of God's flowing. Amen. We never understand how or why He does things. We just enjoy the fact that He pours out upon us. Mm. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Better than any whiskey I ever tasted. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, glory. <laughs> I kind of feel like the old Air Force Base out in West Texas, the jets coming and going and rattling the dishes in the houses. And yeah, it's irritating, but you know what? Pardon the noise. <laughs> this is the sound of freedom. <laughs> This is the sound of freedom. Oh, well, glory, glory. Mm. 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 Since I laid those burdens down. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, glory. Woo. Mm. Boy, if my feet ever match that voice, I'll be a long gone sucker, wouldn't I? Woo! Mm. Oh. Go ahead. You're going to play something. Go ahead. I don't know what you're going to do, but go ahead. That's it. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah, Yes, yes. Well, since I lay my burden down, feeling so much better. Since I lay my burden down, well, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I lay my down, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my down, well, glory, 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 mm. well, I'm feeling so much better, not just better. So much better since I laid. Whew. <laughs> we ain't got no problem picking them up. Why don't we lay them down? Whew. Man, I'm a feeling that this morning. Well, I'm feeling. <sighs> I got heaven, heaven on my mind. Mmm. Shoo. Don't you know I want to go where the milk and honey flows. Well, there's a light that always shines <laughs> down inside <laughs> this old heart of mine. I got heaven, heaven on my mind. And now, Woo, I'm a feeling mighty fine. <laughs> That's a song in case you didn't know it. <laughs> From way back, you talk about old school. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Mm. Mm. To God be the glory. Oh, to God be the glory. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Mm. Sister Gloria, let's go into that chorus. Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, musicians and singers. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you what. God just... <laughs> God said, you got plans? Okay, we'll see. His is so much better. His is so much better. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated if you can. Mm. Mm. Boy, if we close the door right now, we could say, it's been good to be in God's house. Mm. Yeah, too bad we can't say the same towards him or he towards us. Mm. We get so much more than what we deserve. God is always good. We just need to always be good to God. That's hard. That is hard. This morning I'm going to try to continue on the law of the spirit of life in Jesus Christ and it seems like the more that I'm teaching on it the more we're experiencing it in our services because folks there is no freedom outside of Christ none none you can live any way you want to and do anything and Take this drug, take that drug, pop this pill, go to the doctor, get a pill to make you this or make you that. But folks, I'm going to tell you something. Nothing can make you but you. If you want to be sick, they're called hypochondriacs. You will make yourself sick. You can make yourself, whether if there's a pain there or not, believe there is. I'm called drama mamas in my book. Because there's just always got to be something going on negative. Did we? We come to church. We lay it down. And then before we get up, we pick it back up again. Not just that, but whatever it is we've laid down. We don't look at our life in Christ as being free from all that mess. It's like your swimming pool has been tied to your neighbor's sewer line. No matter what you do, you can't clean it up because you don't want to. You like the attention. You know, when we see it in leaders, we say that's just a leader's, leader's characteristic of just having to be out front. No, it's not. That is a physical hunger of something else underneath needing to be fed. It's a void that only God can fill. We always have to be the center of attention. Look at me, look at me, look, and we'll do any stupid thing for people to look at us. We'll say anything. We would say an off-the-wall dirty joke to get the attention. Come on, somebody. I, I know I'm... You want to be the center of somebody's attention, be the center of God's attention. 
That's the only way you're going to be exalted. Because the Word of God says the gift makes room for the man. The problem is we don't want to develop our gift. We just want to be the man or woman. And we want all eyes on us. Oh, woe, poor is me. I'm sick with this. I'm sick with that. I'm sick with this. Oh, I've got this going on. I've got that. Take it to Jesus. My dad used to say, Ray Joyce, you talk the thing to death. But we just got to keep the pot stirred. It hasn't been a... I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes the best... My mother and I talk about this this week. Sometimes the best address to the problem is not an address. Take it to the cross. Don't pick up the party line. Used to, party lines used to be where... There were several neighbors on the same line. You had to wait for the other one to get off so you could get on or say, Hey, you old cackling women, let me have the phone. Mother knows exactly what I'm talking about because she picked up the phone one day and put it back down and said, Them cackling women don't get off that phone. Mama, my mother ain't always been real nice. Don't, 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 don't let that innocent fool you. She's as human as I am. You want to know how she act? Look at me. We both just as purty as we can be. Uh-oh. Hey, I got to redeem myself. We want everybody's eyes on us because we think it'll fill a void. See, there's, there's other addictions other than chemicals. There's the addiction of being number one, busting some more bubbles. You never was and you never will be number one because Jesus is the only number one. So quit trying to strive to take his position. Satan tried it and he, Jesus said, I saw him fall like lightning. If Satan fell trying to be in God's position, what do you think will happen to you? ask you a question this morning brother Leon asked me one day he said why do you pop in Jimmy Swaggart on the TVs when y'all have everything you need right here well I've been chewing on that there's a reason God had us to do it or we wouldn't have done it I know it's because people need to see what the church is doing outside of their little bubble. See, we get stuck in our little, our little comfort zone. And we don't want anybody to erupt it. We don't even want God. Oh, I'm comfortable, God. No, I'm good. I'm good. That's all right. Just, God, go, go move on somebody else. The person next to you says, just, just go move on somebody else. Next person, just move on somebody else. Just move on. And it just fits. Out. Finally, God says, well, if I'm not allowed to move, I just won't show up. 
How many of you go to a job because they allow you to work? How many of you need a job? I'll get see me after church. Exactly. The more you pay, the more I'll pay. How many wants to go to that job and them not let you do anything? Every hand of the new generation goes up. We won't get paid to do nothing. They don't know what it's like to have the satisfaction of feeling like you've accomplished something. The new generation that we hire, you can't get them to do nothing. You hand a guy a shovel one time. He said, what's the deals on the shovel for? We laugh because we know what it is. But kids today don't understand hard work. They don't under. Some adults don't understand manual labor. See, when, when I was coming up, there was a fade out of a generation and a fading in of another one. My great grandparents were farmers. Not to the extent of thousands of acres. She did about a half to, Mama Lee did what, a half acre to an acre, I would guess. She grew beans and cabbage and corn and, and black eyed peas. Oh, God, I hope I never see another man run my finger, them black eyed peas, and, and blah, 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 blah. sit there and suck them things in the heat of the evening, sitting under a shade tree with a bushel. And it's like, what are you doing? Go to the store and buy it. Well, now that we go to the store and buy them, I wished I had some of them because they're better for us. But we understood. She taught me what it was like to sow and reap. Does this sound familiar? It's starting to sound familiar? We sow into God. We reap His return. He has returned. Not ours. His return. The guys at work said the other day, Brian, you're just picky. No, I'm a perfectionist. I'm not perfect, but I strive for it. There's a difference. You expect mistakes, but you expect to get better. Because if I was perfect... I wouldn't be me. I'd be in heaven as an angel or something. Don't think I don't want to go. But she taught us how to work at something and to get a return from it. Sometimes you may get a bushel basket. Some days you may get a peck. People are going, what? We know what we're talking about, don't we? And we've sold the same amount. But see, with Jesus, it's about faithfulness. About being consistent. That's faithful. The only thing we need to be consistent in is faith. Because your faith will produce works. Your works will not produce your faith. And if your faith doesn't produce works, then you ain't got no faith in the right thing. Oh, you got faith. You got faith... James with his foot in the accelerator will stay on his side of the lane when you're passing. You got faith that that bridge will hold that train as you go under in your car. You got faith. God's measured 
every man a certain measure of faith. But we put it on tangible things. Like this bridge. It's tangible. You got faith in it? Brother Jim come up and he said, will this thing hold both of us? I said, ah, yeah, you bet you it will. Built by an engineer and both of us started getting up. It looks sturdy. It looks like it'll hold. It'll hold you. You can bounce on it. It'll wiggle. It'll wobble. But it's here. It ain't going to break. But I guarantee you, it would scare some of you if I started pulling planks. He got on that thing with them planks coming out. Them planks are loose. Yep. The bridge is your faith, and I just pulled mercy and grace out of your bridge. You're not catching on, are you? See, we got holes in what we say as Christians. We're not a full bridge yet. Because we don't understand who's on our side. Folks, it broke my heart this morning to hear the voice of the Lord calling you and you not move. In those days, with my great-grandmother, the church sowed and reaped, just as in the garden. We go to Walmart and we buy our groceries. You going to start going to Walmart buying the lost? Church, we got to start sowing into somebody. Preacher, you need to do your job. We love to say that, don't we? I'm going to do my job. Get out of your seat. Go get them. Sheep begot sheep. You shepherds that are in this congregation, you know this. Go get them. Train the people to go get them. But we're so busy ministering that we haven't done the work of the Lord in days. Well, what I'm doing, yeah, it's good work. It is. But it's not what God called you for that day. Oh, we don't hear this, do we? Oh, we don't want to hear this. I'm working for the kingdom. Oh, yeah? That man right there told me, you better get under somebody or it ain't going to happen. You can't just go out on your own. You got to be under somebody or you ain't nobody. See, the church... Some people are called, some are sent. The rest of them fools just packed up and went. But when it comes to the house of the Lord, we won't commit to nothing to the local house. This is going on in, all across America. Listening to the message of the cross. This is what they talk about uh, two days this week. How that the Christians won't take care of business. If we don't do it, who is? 
Put that slide up there you had in the announcements, babe. See, the church is supposed to be, makes my head itch, thinking too much. The church is supposed to be a peculiar people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. But the church is so much like the world, you can't tell the difference in the two. Now go to the other. That's the one. Spurgeon. I believe that one reason why the church of God, not talking about a denomination, at this present moment, now this is Spurgeon now, this is years ago, years ago, is little influence over the world because the world has so much influence over the church. And people sitting back going, I can't believe the church is letting that happen. Like, like the church is a noun, a living thing. Well, see, the problem is, it is a living thing and you're the body. So when you name off the church, you're talking about yourself. I can't believe, that. I can't, what you need to say is, I can't believe I've let the church get in this shape. We don't bring people, encourage them or entice them to come to Sunday school. Folks, this morning was like camp meeting. It was. Last Sunday morning was another camp meeting. Some of you ain't even got good doctors and you're trying to drag people to his nasty office. And we've got the best thing right here. I can honestly say, in this case, I'm not talking about the rest of the world. I'm talking about right here. You have a preacher, that's me, a pastor who believes in healing and it shall take place. Not just praying for somebody and it, nothing happening. That's happening in churches everywhere. But I'm just stupid enough to take God at His word when He said, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover means they will but you won't get healed because you won't move out and it's the preacher's fault I'm not getting healed he won't pray for me the whole front's empty this morning and I stand in here we don't like it when the role has reversed to we're the one standing in the mirror But if you're going to be a child of the king, you better learn how to look in the mirror. Because that word is nothing but a mirror. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's, this is me, me, O oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I didn't get very far this morning. Folks, If I went to a job and I couldn't do my job, I wouldn't keep going to the job. My wife will tell you I'm already arguing with myself, talking myself out of where I'm working now because there's just too much can't, can't, can't. Well, then don't tell me what we can't do. Somebody tell me what we can do. After all, the Word of God is packed with millions of what we can do. But we focus on two or three can'ts. That man had a procedure done Friday. That man being Brother Johnny. If he can come, if he can drive himself to church, he can witness to somebody. I, I heard that. Well, then tell that man to start witnessing to people. You start witnessing to people. If you would witness to people, see what the pastors are supposed to do is not go down the beach throwing the stars back in the water.
He teaches people to go down the beach throwing stars back into the water because if He's only doing it and everybody else is watching and there's thousands of stars... See, what happens is pastor teach five people. Those five people teach five. That's 25. Then they teach. I can't do math that fast this morning. You get the picture. 25 times five is 125, right? Okay, I had to go to quarters. Uh, five quarters is a dollar and a quarter. Okay, I got this. It works. It works. Delbert, I'll work a penny a day if you'll double it every day for a year. You'll be a millionaire in less than 10 months. See, when it begins to multiply, when it begins to multiply, brother Leon, it's not just making a difference in one or two lives. You're making a difference in hundreds of lives. And then all of a sudden the churches are packed with people who love and worship God. And God is pleased. Not that God's not pleased now. Don't go off saying that. But God begins to pour out even more. Don't despise the small beginnings. A penny a day, a penny today, two pennies tomorrow, four pennies the next, eight pennies the next. By ten months, you'll be a millionaire. Plus, we may be small, and I'm tired of preaching this sermon. I just, I just We've been small for so many years, saying we may be small, but don't... Be, folks... <laughs> It's come down to either do it or shut the doors. Either be with God or don't is what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the church. I'm talking about either be Christians or hush. Quit making God be a something that He is not because you can't get it right. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, that blah, 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 blah. We cuss people out. That's not Christian. That's not Christ-like. But ministers are doing it, Ruby. People cussing on the platforms all over America. That's not the church. Oh, no. I better not hear it. I hear it. There's going to be more than just... There's going to be some consequences to it. I'm not putting up with it. I better not hear it in the parking lot. Especially from leaders or ministers. That's just... That is so ungodly. Well, I have a habit. The Bible says that He has made a way. Jesus won't put on more than I can bear. No, that's not what it says. Because if God would not give us more than we would bear, then why would we need Jesus? If we could save ourselves, why would we need a Jesus? If we could heal ourselves, why did He say, He's the God that healeth thee? That song is scriptural. But yet, I'll never get healed. You don't right, you won't. I'm going up for prayer. I'm not going to get healed. It's because you don't want to get healed. I have prayed for people in, the, in this year already that you go lay hands on them and they're like, oh yeah, give it to me, Jesus. Yeah, you want to give it to you, all right. And they're, and they're pushing off the healing the whole time you're praying. I'm not kidding, Delbert. That's sad. The Word of God says to bless those that curse you. Talking to my mother this week, I wadded that one up and throwed it out the window because I don't like it. 
I got people that, matter of fact, my boss went to city manager and said, I and Brian both know people down there don't like him and he don't care. But see, when that happens, how you react to them The Bible says to be nice to those who, and I'm, I'm, I'm quoting Gorman phrase here, paraphrasing. Be nice to them for it heaps coals of fire on them. Some of us, I'm going to be nice to you. I'm going to burn you up with it. <laughs> Wrong attitude. It'll never work. You must sincerely be loving. Otherwise, you're not in the Spirit of God. How will they know that you are of God? By the love you have. That's not just in the blood bought community. I got one more thing I want to show you. Thanks to Chris. I don't know if he put it up in there or somebody else did. The church has lost its self-discipline. We expect God to do everything for us. Well, God's got to do this, and God's got to do that, and God's got to do this, and God's got to do that. Now, that's to an extent, you're, you're pretty much right. God's got to. But you've got to let him. Come on. You've got to let him. Make sure I get the right one here. You've got to let him. Self-control is knowing you can, but deciding you won't. And that's where we are as a church. We have no self-control. We know that we can, but we choose not to. We choose not to raise our children. Let somebody else do it. We choose to let the church do it. We choose to let so and so do it I'm sorry I've raised mine thank you I don't even want my grandkids oh, but I love to see them coming and I love to give them all the noisemakers I can get and pat their little honeys and send them on home with them <laughs> my father did me like that so guess what it's a family tradition <laughs> Christmas Eve, payback. <laughs> Christmas, no, New Year's Eve. My wife's family, we finally got around together. She wanted them to understand the Christmas story a little bit. Some of them didn't like it. They're Christians, but they're rejecting the word. Sound like the church? We call ourselves Christians. We come to the church house. But then we go home. We shack up. Dope up. Drink up. There you go. I was trying to figure out how to get that. There you go. Cuss up. Fight up. See, we're not... We're liars. Makes us a liar. And then when you truly get saved, people don't believe you. First of all, truly saved? No such thing. You either are or you are not. And folks, let me tell you something. When God walks in and you decide enough is enough and you're going to exercise self-control and you give it over to God there will be an immediate change. These two sitting right here on the second row saw me acting one way one day and the next day I standing in church singing, raising my hand, shouting. Glory. 
one day partying, drinking up, running, doing all the things the world says is comfortable and fun. I never had no much fun till I found God. And the Saturday night, Sunday morning, at 2 o'clock, might have started a day of a normal day. Oh, but by, by 9 o'clock, this old boy was shouting because my chains were gone. There was a change made. And you couldn't deny it. I quit staying in places I didn't belong. Mama didn't have to tell me, you don't need to be over there. You're changed. Mama didn't have to say, you don't need to do that. There was something else inside of me. It's called the Holy Ghost. He said don't. He said don't do. He said do. That's what I did. That's walking after the Spirit. You're not walking after the Spirit if you can obey in the service. See, in the Spirit, we get healed. Wheelchairs are no longer needed. Crutches are no longer needed. Doctors are no longer needed. I didn't say we didn't need doctors. It's not what it said. But when we open up to give God that opportunity, with a heart that we had at salvation, we'll get, we will get, I said, we will get. We will get. See, that's the problem. The church doesn't believe it'll happen anymore. Well, God gave us doctors. Well, you're dying going to the doctor. How well is that working out for you? Well, I know what I'm doing in God. How well is that working out for you? Heard you cussing in a parking lot last week. Brother James come up, laid that, laid that snuff there on the, count, on the counter. Some of us need a counter. Our altars are too short. He laid it on the altar. Told me the other day he ain't picked it back up since. That's God making changes. said I battled with alcohol I started to get some Holy Spirit kicks in he didn't get none see when there's a change the desires are gone some of us are scared to get saved because our life won't be as we know it thank God have y'all looked in the mirror some of them pretty messed up Mine was. Mine was. But because of God, sending a son to shed his blood, to walk in a sinful shell, but live sinless, to be crucified, beaten. For my healing. He said by his stripes we are healed. Mm. He made a change in me. And you know what? <laughs> it's worth telling. You know what the word apostle means? When you translate it out of the Greek, it means ambassador. That's the best translation Strong's could give for it. So you say, well, I don't believe in apostles anymore. I guess you don't believe in ambassadors either. Because doesn't the Bible tell us we're ambassadors of Him? So every one of us are ambassadors. We could be apostles. In any sense. Because what God did then. And, 
and is if we'll allow. Father, we thank you this morning, Lord. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the opportunity. Now, Lord, I'm going to ask right now that for those who did not move this morning, that, God, you give them another opportunity right now to step out and to begin to get their life squared away with you because you are coming soon and the time is short. And, Lord, if we don't begin to move... There's going to be a whole lot of blood on our hands because we didn't tell the ones you said to tell. Mm. Mm. And Father, when we don't tell, we're being disobedient to your word. Mm. Lord, help us to crucify this flesh. Move it aside. Begin to walk in the order of the Spirit and listen to you and heal those. The apostle said, as they walked their shadows, healed the sick. But they disciplined themselves to be in your presence. Lord, help us discipline ourselves. To be in your presence. To be in the garden of Gethsemane more and more and more. Help us get the burning of lost souls to the point that we literally agonize. Agony comes upon us for the lost. We can't even really get into Father, heal my kids. Save my children. Say, well, God, you can't change them. You can't save them. God, you're not, well, they're just not going to get saved. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Waver not, double-minded. Cleanse your hands, it says. In James 5, 5, 8, I believe it says. Mm. We need to start standing, Lord, in the streets, proclaiming the name of Jesus. Lord, make a way for us to stand in the streets and, and dare people to pray for others and they be healed. Lord, get us out of our comfort zone. Stir us up. Stir our spirits up. Lord, you said in the last days you would pour out of your spirit. It's time some old men started dreaming and some young men started seeing visions. Bring your church back to life. Lord, it's not about seeing results from a man's preaching. It's about seeing results for the kingdom. For the apostle said in the, in the days that the Spirit was poured out in Acts chapter 2, that there were men added daily to the church. Daily. Because they weren't afraid to speak in tongues out in the streets. They weren't afraid to present their faith out in the streets. I'm not afraid of failure. God, if I do it and it don't happen, I keep praying. I keep pressing. Daniel said, 21 days, Lord, I prayed. And the archangel said, I was coming when you first spoke. The answer was on the way before you prayed, but I was held up in heavens. Wake us up, God. Wake us up, Lord. Wake us up, wake us up, wake us up. Get the leaders to be the leaders. Get those that are supposed to be leaders in their positions. Lord, get this thing ready. For your coming is close. And we're slumbering. Wake us up, Lord. Wake us up. Wake us up. Folks, these altars are open. Bridge, altars, front pews.
The Spirit has called us for weeks and weeks. The mud is dry. Crawl out of the ditch. Begin to seek God. Mm. We want. We got one here wanting to be prayed for. I need some warriors. Let let those that are praying. Let them pray. Don't bother them. I just. It was just there. It is. I knew it was here somewhere. Excuse me, Delbert. I don't either. I don't either. I don't even want to take the risk of chancing to mess God. I'm sorry. Well, I just spun right around there, didn't I? Oh, forget. No, oh, forget that. That ain't, that ain't going to work. You're fixing to get it, I guess. You said there's two. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. They are your servants. They are your servants. They've been your servants. We know doctors are good things, but Father, healing is the children's bread. Raise this man's strength up in this body. Do not let the enemy steal or destroy. But you came, Jesus, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Let the legs dance. Let the mind say whatever it wants to say. But let the legs dance. Mind says, no, they can't. Well, let them legs go. Because this is the power of God. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The enemy has tried to come, steal, and to destroy. But I am the God who saved thee. I am the God who has supplied for thee. I am the God who is with thee. And I am the God that will always carry you and be with you. Do not listen. Do not listen. Do not listen anymore to the cries of the enemy. You are under the blood. You are under the blood. You are under the blood. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, mm, clarity to these two. Clarity, unity. Oh, Jesus. Working together. Mm. When one can't, the other can. Oh, yes. Taking care of each other. Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Whoo. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Lord, loosen the fingers. Let them go. Loosen them. Let them play for the joy of the Lord is in her yes. fingers as she tickles the ivories. That is her talent, and she gave it to you years ago, one night in a church, dimly lit lights. She said, God, if you'll allow me, I will do it for you the rest of my life. She meant what she said. It's been hard, it ain't been easy. But she says, I'm here and I will continue as long God. Now loose them up, let them play like she used to. Where she said, I don't want to hear her say, Pastor, you need a piano player. I ain't no needed one, I got one. I just need her fingers loosed so she can do it like she used to. Voice, voice open, 
open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sing it, baby, like you ain't never sang before. Mm. For the anointing comes from you as you lift up your voice and you play the piano. Even in your quiet time, the anointing flows when you play and sing. Mm. You are a vessel that houses the Holy Spirit and you allow it to be poured out when you choose. It's subject to you. Mm. Wow. <laughs> and you ain't got to worry about nobody coming and taking your job. That is yours until the Lord says you're done. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Glory, glory. Whew. Mm, 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 mm. You're fixing to see some changes in y'all's family. Because you're lining up where God wanted you to be, Sister Gloria, Brother Johnny. And the enemy doesn't have that foothold anymore because you, you are sowing and the reaping is just in sight. Mm, mm. 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 Somebody turn on that giggle box again. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Anybody else? Anybody else? Mm. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Sister Gracie, come here, baby. Mm. Camille, come here, baby. Mrs. C, come here. Right here. Right here. She's fixing a prayer over a granddaughter. You have a daughter. You have a grandson. We're going to show the devil this morning when we unite and believe for one another. The enemy cannot take or destroy what God has already called and ordained. So, if you ladies will put your hands on her. I'm just following the leading of the Holy Spirit. And as you begin to believe... God will also do in y'all what mother's wanting done for her grandchild. In the name of Jesus. I'm scared to touch you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> mm. Whoa! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Oh, God, I oh, hallelujah! Ronda da boshi, yanda hashuro bo kanda da da boshi te ta hayaro yamai shiki rito dori yanda lalo da boshi te ra ba kanda ri shundro bo ra da ba release in the name of Jesus, release in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> you lay down in your bed tonight. Your husband's going to be healed. From the power that was transferred from the laying on of hands this morning. The word said it's by the laying on of hands that the anointing is transferred. The Spirit of the Lord is fixing to sweep through your house. From the top to the end, from the front to the back, it's going to be a new atmosphere when you walk through the doors. Oh, hallelujah. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Woo. I want your house if you ever decide to get rid of it. I want it. Because when people walk in, they're going to be like in the movie War Room. Somebody been praying in here. <laughs> Somebody been living for God up in here. <laughs> they're going to know it's the presence of the Lord's house. Mm. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Saraba Sandaraba Siki Romosa Yanama Sodarabo Sitarai Ikori Sufo Yarabo Sina Mahanda Kutoros Pahai Lord have mercy. <laughs> I put my spirit in her when she was a child. I have not taken my spirit from her. The enemy is trying to kill and to destroy. But she will be a woman of God like never before. Do not mind what you see with your eyes. But listen to what my spirit says. And she is mine. Oh, and you will see it come to pass you will see it come to pass thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah 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 oh rabasanda rabaka Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I said I gave you a promise. You would see your family come to the saving grace of God. I meant what I said. It has not changed. And she is in part in that. Oh, Rabasanda, we'll see. I know it, Lord. I know it. I know it. I know it with all my heart. Oh, Rabasanda, we'll see. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to shout. Somebody needs to get happy. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, Shandarobo Sitara Robo Kandara Damasa today. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church ought to be getting excited. Well, it ain't me. Well, guess what? It could be. Get excited because people are seeing the hand of God moving. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Well, glory. 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 Glory, glory, glory. I love it when God does God's stuff. Mm, mm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Woo. I almost don't want to eat lunch. I'd almost just stay right here for a while. When I'm in His presence like this, this is all I want. This is all I want to feel. This is where I want to stay, Delbert. This is where I want to live. Breathe. Stand up.
up, sister. Stand up. And being obedient, God said, I will bring her in. Don't get faint again. You're getting faint. God said, angel will be in. The powers of hell cannot take that which is blood bought, and you have pleaded the blood to the point to where she is saturated. She just don't know it yet. But when the demons come off, mm, you deceptive demon, I cast you out of Angie right now in the name of Jesus. I unclog the ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. I remove scales off of her eyes. Mmm. 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 When the enemy comes in and is hateful and disgusting to you, as, as Ruby would say, being tacky, you rebuke that devil under your breath and you say, Angie, you stay put. The, the enemy will have to leave. Angie will have to stay. Amen. She may walk, but she has to stay in that spirit. Put the spirit on her. Put the spirit of the Holy Ghost on her. She can't run. She can't run. Hmm. Mm, it's fixing to get real hard real fast. But do not submit yourself to what you see with your eyes or hear with your ears. For it must get worse before the enemy turns loose. It's always darkest before dawn. And the battle's fixing to get hot. Get serious. Get serious. Get serious. Get serious. Get serious. Put everything else aside. Get on your knees and seek my face. I will come through for you. Mm. Somebody needs to shout. Somebody needs to be shouting. Mm. 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 Folks, I'm telling you, the days of these kiddos running from you are coming to an end. They are. Our time is limited. And we need to start living as though they are. Mm. Mm. Folks, you need to take what you're seeing out into the streets. You need to take it to the streets. Jesus demonstrated, the pastors demonstrated, you too can do this. Take it to the streets. Take it to the streets. Hmm. Mm. 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 Wow. Wow. Mm. I'm trying to wrap it up, guys. I promise. I am. But it's not my will. your grandson's name Nick they're the ones that came I can see their faces he's struggling isn't he 
financially. He started this business trying to do something, but he didn't ask God. He prayed about it, but he did his own thing anyway. But you know what? God said if he will surrender 100%, God's going to bless him. And the company's going to grow to where he don't have to work as hard as he's working. God's going to begin to send him people to give him direction and wisdom on how to do this. Tell him to be careful. For a couple, two, are coming or wolves in sheep's clothing. But three are not. And he said, listen. And I will release a blessing which he cannot contain. Mm. It's only a good word if it comes true. Yes, Lord. Yes. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Mm. Okay, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you and we give you praise and we give you glory. Oh, Father, we thank you so much. Lord, help us to just speak the name of Jesus. Just speak the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Mm. Well, if there's nothing else. Father, we bless the food. Lord, we ask that you bless the food. I guess I better get the right words in the right place. Sanctify it. Nourish our bodies. And Lord, get us up to work for the kingdom. For the time is short. And the laborers are few. 